Hello, it's Daymor Sayer, and today I've got something pretty damn special. At least for me, something I've been waiting for quite a while. As you can see, it is another Figma, number 133 to be precise. And ooh, what's that? Is that a Nintendo sticker? What could it be? It's... Samus Aaron from Metroid. Well, the other M to be specific, but eh, it's pretty much Metroid in general. The design doesn't change much between the series. At least it's pretty negligible in my opinion. But god damn it, this this Figma is fucking amazing. And here it is. To start off with, you got her um, standard pose, holding her uh, her uh, arm cannon up like that, as she usually does in a sort of victory pose or something like that. And just this figure is really, really nicely done like all the shininess is really nice really nice representation of the character her visors got kind of a clearish looking material there although obviously you can't really see through it anyways but yeah really nice and the joints are not too terribly noticeable because it's again it's uh not a humanoid character since she's got her armor on so it looks better as a posable figure but let's take a look at some well actually accessories first off there's some um, extra hands so open hand uh closed fist that stupid thumbs up thing from the other M game. Blech. That's that's the one thing is that it's associated with other M which um kind of ruined the character in my opinion and probably several other people's opinions. But let's not dwell on that. And then it comes with um this uh open hand which I'm guessing is to hold accessories from other Figmas and such because she doesn't actually come with anything to hold. I mean, you know, you could kind of do that. It looks kind of like a beam sword or something, but that's just uh, her energy shots. She comes with the double one and a single one. And also... Uh, open end to her cannon which is usually what she does when she's about to, when she's firing when you, you go into the missile mode which is the only downside to this figure is that it doesn't come with missiles which is kind of disappointing but then last but not least you've got the morph ball yay which is a nice little accessory. It looks really nice with the sort of clear plastic in the middle. Looks pretty nice. It also has a a hole in there. If you really want to, you can um, attach it to one of the Figma stands. Like so. Make it look like she's jumping, but... You don't really want to do that because that's kind of silly. Just um, you could, it just balances just fine on a flat surface, and it doesn't really roll anywhere. But anyways, let's take a look at some other poses, shall we? Next is the sort of leaning, jumping shot, which is uh. Similar to the pose on the cover of Super Metroid there. Actually, it would be cool if 
there were a Ridley figure, Figma, or something like that. So you, you could have her fighting him. That would be awesome. But anyways, pretty damn cool pose. I'm not sure if I got it um, exactly the way it should be, but it looks pretty nice. And yeah, the nice thing about Figma stands is that they're actually sturdy and can actually handle mid-air poses, unlike the flimsy Revel Tech stands, as you may have seen with the recent Alphonse review. But, let's move on to something else. And next we got her running and shooting with the double shot there. Also another uh, cool pose. Also just to show you, I guess, how the um, missile thing works. You just take the one out and then put that in. So, there you go. Even though she doesn't have any missiles, it can still look cool. You could even just put one of her uh, beams in there if you want. But anyways, um, one more pose to go. Okay, the last pose we have the super cool landing pose that she usually does when she um. Land, first lands on a planet and stuff like that which is yeah it's a cool pose um as is usual like poses where the you have to bend it over have the hands touch the ground are quite difficult to pull off but I somehow managed to do this I was trying to do it when I first got the figure and I just couldn't get it but I think I got pretty good now, so yeah, really nice pose, and um, other than that, I just, I really, really, really love this figure, it's fantastic, if you're a fan of the Metroid series at all, I highly recommend it, it's definitely um, one of the best, uh, it's definitely the best Figma I own, for sure, and uh, one of the best figures I've seen in some time, I'd say. Really, really nice, lots of, lots of fun to play around with, in different poses, and her hand fell off. But, anyways, so, that's, um... Pretty much it for this one. So, um, this is Daymorsair, and thumbs up. <laughs> Goodbye.